Plastic pollution is a major environmental concern in Ghana due to the severe threats it poses to both terrestrial and marine ecosystems. According to the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, Ghana produces about 1.1 million tons of plastic waste annually, with only 2% being recycled. This indicates that most of the plastic waste generated ends up in the environment. Over the years, government has introduced many policies and interventions to help deal with the plastic menace in the country. These policies, however, have not yet yielded the desired results. As part of efforts to curb the menace, Mohinani Group, parent company of Polytanks Ghana, is said to invest over $16 million to open Ghana's first bottle-to-bottle -bottle recycling plant to supply food-grade RPET of European standards. PET is a primary material found in plastic bottles. The plant will produce PET bottles and these will be recycled into material that will be used in producing new bottles. The recycled food safe RPET can also be used to create high quality food grade packaging produced as per global standards. The plant, which is expected to commence full operations in 2023, will have a capacity to recycle 15,000 metric tons of plastic waste annually, with overall group's capacity increasing to 30,000 metric tons by late 2024. Ashok Mohinani is the executive director of the Mohinani Group, and he spoke to the media on the sidelines of the launch. What uh, the basic um, uh, uh, proposition for this whole um, project is that at the moment, um, our pet, or PET is collected and um, the, you would have seen the statistics, there's quite a lot of collectors there and predominantly it is you know baled and exported right so this this particular project the RPET technology is producing collecting the waste turning it into food grade RPET so so currently all the bottles predominantly here are all virgin which you see in the market and so this allows you to use up to a certain percentage of waste collected here in PET changed into our PET food grade and then you can use that in the same bottle and so it's a full cycle so that's what we're doing at the moment no one does it here and it's the first of its kind so what what we're gonna add here is that you don't export that whatever you you produce here it's reused in the bottle and it, it goes down the chain because that same bottle again once it's used and goes into the market is collected back and reused again at whatever percentage the um, the company feels it's appropriate delivering the keynote address minister of environment science technology and innovation dr kwekwe free said the initiative complements government's efforts at addressing the challenge of plastic waste management in the country. In as much as sorting and recycling facilities remain a large-scale project that require huge financing, we recognize that we will struggle to reduce plastic waste in the environment or increase high-quality recycling without them. Ladies and gentlemen, today's project or today's project announcement for the construction of plastic recycling plant by the Mohinani Group comes to address the long-standing challenge of inadequate national infrastructure capacity for plastic recycling. I understand that the facility will primarily recycling um, polyethylene terephthalate, uh, that's PET plastics. Those who are familiar with this will know that one of the main strengths of PET, which is durability, is also its biggest problem. It can take some 700 years to PET to, to degrade in landfills. The good news about PET is that it's 100% recyclable and can be recycled repeated, repeatedly, and so on and so forth. 